The rain is getting heavy through the storm tonight. I'm so far from home, the ocean goes below. Will you make the morning light? Oh, little wings in flight. <laughs> Boy, that guy was a creeper. Anyways, Bill, the Hall of Fame collector here. This is 94. This is 95. This is my Maddox inventory, and I figured I'd show it. This might be 96. Um, just to kind of show you anything with color I own, 97, and uh, anything in white I need. So aside from some really rare stuff, 98. Look at all the white spots there. That's tech. Uh, a lot of 98 I still need. Big year for Maddox. 99, same thing. Uh, but I'm pretty far along. A lot of the base cards I have, a lot of the low-end stuff I have. So really just some really heavy hitters that I need. Um, just kind of showing you. After this Jim and Jeff collection, um, I'm 70-something percent done. All right, on to Greg Maddox. This is part five. I can't believe it's already part five. And I still got some more to show off here. Here we go. This first one here is a banger right off the bat. 2001 leaf certified materials this is the mirror gold beautiful shine not very easy 25 copies Ooh, shine all right dick's next card here is super shine boom and I, I really can't do this card justice here with this light um much better in person and this embossment that's on the card 97 Fleer, Diamond Tribute, 1 in 288, uh, and 1 in 3, 4, 5, 6 to get the player you want. This would be a set of, it, of cards that I would probably want to get. Okay, next I'll take you to some more Pacific cards. How about some more Platinum Blues? I've been showering you guys with Platinum Blues. This is 99 Omega. Uh, you got the Platinum Blue there. And it is serial numbered to 75. This next one here is from 2000 Crown Collection. Another beautiful platinum blue right there. Look at that. Uh, serial numbered out of 67. All right. Uh, 2001, like I was mentioning in previous videos, really makes a, a crazy turn to memorabilia. And this card is uh, packed with memorabilia. 2001 Rookies and Stars, Triple Threads, Triple Patch Card, Maddox, Jones, and Andrew Jones. The patches are absolutely stuffed in this card, and uh, it is out of 100. All right, Pinnacle Inside. These were uh, cards that were in these uh, little cans, and uh, there wasn't many produced. So, uh, you know, the hardest parallel in that set uh, for 1998 uh, was this one boom look at the shine diamond edition it says diamond edition there they're not numbered however you find a diamond edition one in every 67 cans to get the player you want one in 10,050 cans so there can't be a lot of these and when these things pop up um, they, they tend to go for decent money so happy to get that one all right this next one here is uh a really confusing set 98 leaf fractal matrix and uh, might as well just show it off here um, it's a blue foil it actually is better in person um, I'm just not too big of a fan of the car because it's one of the few cars from the late 90s that shows Maddox in a Cubs jersey and I prefer him in the Braves jersey however this is the diamond axis die cut fractal matrix and this particular card is a tough one for 1998, just number 250. Okay, how about 1998 Upper Deck UD3? It had a number of different parallels in UD3. Uh, it had a die cut, three different die cut parallels. Um, this one happens to be 
uh, one of them, right, with this foil here. And the, this particular die cut is to 2000. There is a die cut parallel number to 1000, which I've shown off in previous videos. It's packed away, but this is the monster that I was waiting to get. Um, love the hollow foil uh, all around. And uh, this particular card is serially numbered out of 100. Beautiful. Okay, how about uh, 2000 Pacific Prism? I showed off a, a good one the other day. I got two more. Uh, this one here. You never see these. Um, beautiful shine. This is the Pebbly Dots. And the Pebbly Dots are not serial numbered. However, print run 691. Uh, you would think that you'd see more. And this one's a big one too. Uh, really happy to get this pattern. This is called the Tinsel pattern. And it's out of 331, not numbered. Um, again, but I don't see how there are 331 of these. Next, I go to 2000 Tops Gallery. We got two parallels to the base cards. He was in two different base cards here. This is the Players Private Issues, and each of these are out of 250. 2001 Tops HD. Really nice cards. Kind of heavy. This is the Platinum uh, HD, and it is out of 199. Next, we're going to go 1997 Upper Deck Star Attractions, one per pack, and the harder Star Attractions Gold. Okay, I go one year later, Upper Deck, very simple and easy, Power Zone. Then you got the Power Zone October Best, one in 34 packs, one in 510, and then this one here, the Superstar Excitement, which is numbered out of 250. Okay, how about some oddballs? Because oddballs exist in this era. Here's a uh, 2001 Donruss Elite stamped Seattle MLB Fan Fest 2001. Next, how about this Pudge Rodriguez error card? Greg Maddox slash Pudge, Pudge Rodriguez, Ivan Rodriguez error card 2001 sweet spot. 97 Prism. It's got the stamp there. That's the uh, the National in 2001. You had to be at the National to pull a card and get a stamp. And then 2000 Paramount. This has a stamp as well from the Super Bowl. 2001 Super Bowl. Okay, let's get into some memorabilia here. Tools of the Trade 2001. You got a bat piece out of 100. There's the bat. You got a jersey piece. Out of 300, there's the jersey. And you got this piece here. It's a hat piece out of 100. And I got some more random jersey pieces here. 2001 Fleer Ultra Field again. I think it's 2001. Jersey piece, die cut. Then you got this one here. EX behind the numbers jersey. Fleer Game Time again. I think 2001 Uniformity jersey piece. Next one here, 2001 National Patch Time. Here's another uh, authentic game hat, Skybox Dominion. And then uh, this one here, Upper Deck Gold Glove, officially game used baseball, Greg Maddox, Chipper Jones. All right, and this is that time of the video where pretty much you can just Fast forward, different version there. Um, again, a red parallel, Walmart exclusive. Uh, these are all lower end inserts that uh, I need not really. Another red Walmart exclusive. Uh, this is a, called Rant Parallel. All lower end stuff. Um, not really worth explaining. There's some shine. Heritage proof. This one's a beauty. Um, but nonetheless, these things get sorted into year. This is a uh, like a fold out poster. There's another one fold out poster. Uh, 
it just keeps going on and on. Tops of Treasury. Here's Ionix. Every card on Ionix. Ugh. Every card on Ionix in Ionix is amazing. And uh, here's another refractor. Again, I'll speed it up. This thing folds out. Collector's Choice. This is a emerald parallel uh, from Metal. This one's actually pretty nice. Uh, shine on Maddox there. Damage uh, from Ultra International. Bowman Chrome International. Not the Refractor. Tops Gallery. This one's got some nice shine. Bullion. Gold Label. Mirror Image Refractor. Bowman's Best. I mean, tons of stuff from the Jim and Jeff collection. Uh, this card is really nice uh, outside the, uh, the, the, the the surface of it. Styrotech or whatever it's called. Um, I can just keep going here. My arms are getting tired from going so quick here. Um, Z-Team. Another parallel. Another low-end inserts. Um, I put these things away. Check them off my checklist. And then uh, on to prepping for the next one. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Part 5, Jim and Jeff collection. I got more monsters to come.